Leo, la la la, la 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 Leo, la la la, la 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 Leo, la la la, la 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 Leo, la la la. What's up, lions? What's up, Leos? What's poppin'? I know y'all ain't think I was gonna let August end without doing y'all me, mother. Hmm? More like an end of August type shit, cause I'm late as fuck. But you guys know, I'm a mom away from here. You guys, I have a life and human just like you are. That said, y'all rock with me. Shit, better late than never. Hey, boo, hey, if this is first time you're on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time you're on my channel, look out, I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, this is not your channel. Please feel free right now, okay, to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, all right? To the um, new subscribers, Hey y'all, hey, welcome to the family, alright, well it is functional, we don't fight and fuss, we leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss, we love, we share, we grow, we evolve, positive vibes only over here, alright, returning family, what's poppin', what's up baby, did you miss me, hmm, hmm, lots, are you guys in this fulfilling place, in this space of speaking your mind, and also reminiscing, um, on those, uh, those family members and ancestors of yours who crossed over on the other side. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the readings, y'all. I truly appreciate everything that you do, all of your support in the most humblest space ever. As you can see, I'm in the bed. I actually was going to push this off until tomorrow and be a little bit more late. I know. Why well, tell you that? I'm right because I sacrificed my wine. Wine and chill, okay? I'm going to push that shit back to later. But for right now, my wine, my chill, as well as my nap, because I love you, all right? So we're going to get into it. This will be for the end of August. Well, from now, well, you guys, I'm going to say for the mid-month of August, okay? Because that's technically what the hell is supposed to be. But we late, all right? But we late, but we still great. So it will be from the 15th until the 31st or the 30th of August, okay? I don't know how many damn days in August, and I ain't going to lie about it, because I don't want to take it back. <laughs> so with that said, this will be for, my, for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Leo. Let's get it popping, all right? So we're going to start with your intuitive messages first. I do have um, this damn AC going, and y'all also, I don't think you can hear this music, because I don't want YouTube to flag me, so I cut that shit all the way down, but I'm over here, it's a whole vibe, all right? So let's get it. Leo, the intuitive messages that you guys receive um, from now to the end of August, you guys got truth revealed. Leaving behaviors behind. Life cycles. Outside distractions. Confidence. Resurrection. Final decisions. Forgiveness. Moving. New career. Family cycles. Only see love. Confidence. Recognition, dreams, reprogramming of the subconscious, loved ones, regretful returns, financial increase, come on Leo, ego death, perspective shifts, restarts, home life, okay? So if any of those intuitive messages did resonate with you, this is definitely your message. Overall energy around the reading, you guys, we got the 10 of heart, okay? So ultimately, I definitely feel like you guys are in this space of fulfillment. You guys are in this space of focusing on what Leo wants and what it is that Leo is deserving of and focusing on also what it is that Leo is wanting to build, especially when it comes to legacy and what we're leaving behind children. A lot of you guys, I'm hearing IRAs. Somebody is um, really thinking about possibly taking money out of their 401k for those of you who could have lost a job or um, could possibly be thinking about leaving your job. Some of you guys are kind of on the fence about taking your 401k or um are actually taking the penalty for taking out your 401k early. I do see if you're going to do that, I do see it's going to go positive for you, but make sure that if you're going to take a little bit over what you need, get a little bit ahead of your bills. But not only that, whoever I'm speaking with, I'm connecting with right now, I definitely feel like you also are wanting to start a business and maybe the finances have been a problem. Damn, sis, they go your answer. But get on it because it's something about time being of the essence. Whoever I'm connecting with, your ass is supposed to be doing this last year, okay? So let's get into it for my lives. First angel message you guys got was Archangel Raziel. Hope this sun ain't fucking shit. Oh, look at it. It's trying to act right today. 
use your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Only focus on what it is that you do want, Leo. The rest of that shit, throw it away, okay? I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are, um, some guys could be connecting with archangels. There's a focus on um, actively using the throat chakra, okay? Speak the fuck up. Say what you mean, mean what you say, and do not allow other people to project their negativity on you during this time. I really feel like you guys are very, really um, really more so in this positive space, trying to stay sucker-free, drama-free, okay? For those of you who are not from the South, who you, who's wondering, like, what the hell did you say, sucker-free? Yes, dodge them suckers. I wish I had my glasses, sucker duckers. Tell them stand over there, okay? They can't sit with you during this time with all that negative shit. I definitely feel like others of you, there's a focus on a father figure during this time, as well as a mother figure, but I feel the mother figure is more so matriarchal, like grandmother figure, okay? Some of you all could have uh, lost a grandmother. I'm, I'm, some of you guys could also be connecting with your grandmother or a grandparent in your dreams, which is kind of giving, for some of y'all, this is kind of, it's kind of resurrecting the feelings of hurt and regret. Your ancestors are not wanting you to be in this space of hurt and regret. They want you to healthy, to be able to release them healthily. I don't even know if healthily is a word. It's going to be one today. They want you to release them healthily, but they also, they're trying to assist you with movement forward when it comes to your past. They're also trying to assist you when it comes to direction. Some of you guys don't have an issue with the movement. It's actually which way you're walking, the direction around the movement, okay? There's a need for you guys to cent to center yourself and get focused. I know you guys are used to being, you know, that go-to person for a lot of people, a lot of people in your life. But there's a, there's a, right now during this time, there's a focus on family, you guys. Family and what it is that you're trying to build. I also see some of you guys may need to get to a big body of water, especially if you live in um if you live on the southern region where it's a bit warm. Some of you guys, you're being called to a big body of water. This actually has to do with the with the reception of some type of esoteric information. Some of y'all could also be dreaming about like esoteric symbols, like sacred some some sort of sacred geometry. Others of you some of you guys also during this time may be getting this, maybe gravitating to like environmental work. This could be um, volunteering around your neighborhood and your community. For others of you, this could actually have to be, have to do with um, planting, gardening. Others of you could, you could also be wanting to uh, find yourself picking up random trash. A lot of you all are being called to be caretakers of the universe during this time. Whatever it is that you are waiting on when it comes to clarity, and was it if it's clarity regarding a prayer or a situation that you put up to the Most High, you're going to receive your confirmation via the form of a rainbow. That is your yes, go forward. For some of you all, there is a situation around children or family. I'm hearing outside children as well. So you could be married and you could have a partner um, who has like outside children or children who, you know, children who you didn't have. Your stepchildren, I hate saying that word. Some of you guys could also be finding out that your children are getting ready to have a baby. Boy, congratulations, Granny. Okay, next angel message you guys got was hello from heaven, Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their love and blessings that goes, uh, takes me back to that. Um, for some of you all, you could have recently lost someone. And my condolences to you, baby. I send you much love and much healing during this time. Others of you, there's a focus also on the crown chakra. Some of you all, pay attention to the thoughts, to the thoughts and the random, because they're not so random. You're being divinely guided. Some of you all are claircognizant. Others of you are walking into the gift of clairvoyance. Some of you all are going through some massive spiritual, um, some uh, massive spiritual shifts. I do pick up the energy of paranormal activity. So some of you guys could actually be connecting with your archangels or connecting with your spirit guides. And some of y'all are scared as hell. 
because you do have mediumship abilities, but your guides are trying to slowly walk you into your path. And that is them actually communicating with you all. I don't feel the energy of darkness. I actually feel um, a very benevolent energy. But I feel like, Leo, some of y'all scared than the motherfucker. Okay? Spirit's saying, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Pray to get more clarity. Some of you all are also needing to, um, your guides are wanting you to give them permission to act upon your behalf. For some of you all, they're saying that you're trying to hold all of that weight yourself. And I do see that things are going to be, um, things are going to move. For those of you who are experiencing like turmoil and shifts, I feel like things are going to be greater later. They're going to be greater on the other side. However, right now, this is a very uncomfortable time. But for some of you all, Spirit is saying you're trying to carry things that aren't even your damn. That's not your job, Leo, to be carrying that shit that ain't your. If you can't control it or you can't change it, why you worry about it? That's God's job. God just wants his job back. And your angels is like, when you see in these damn, because some of y'all could be seeing 555 five, five a whole lot, 444, four, four, 333, three, sevens, increments of threes and seven, three, four, three, four, three, three, four, four. I feel like some of you all are on this path of enlightenment, but I feel like for some of you all, it's not really about how much you learn or beating yourself up about how much you don't know. But to go back and unlearn everything that you do know that's fucking you up out here that got you beating your own ass mentally. Let it go. It's not your part. It's God's job. Okay? So we're going to check into these Oshizun Tarot. <clears throat> See what's going on. Two cards for your subconscious space. Whoa. And advice. Some of you guys are carrying too much. Also, be very careful. Slow down. Some of you guys could be very clumsy during this time, I feel. I don't know why I feel the need to be. Yeah. Whatever it is that you've been trying to grow. I am hearing harvest, 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 okay? What messages do you have? Right, yes, what I tell you? Put that shit down, Leo. Put it down. You motherfucking tired. Act accordingly. That's not your part. Spirit is saying for some of you all, it has to do with this defensive energy. Some of you guys are being defensive towards the situation. I feel like for some of you all, this def this defense is literally a mask, okay? This could be you or someone else within your energy currently. I definitely feel like some of you all, this could involve air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or other fire signs like yourself, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys are trying to hold the situation together and wear this mask as if you're happy, but on the cool, you're ready for that shit to fall apart. And Spirit is saying it's inevitable, but I feel like this falling apart happens within you first when you realize that uh, oh, excuse me, when you realize that instead of being in this space of pointing the finger at another person regarding what they're not doing right or how they are there's a need for you to step back or for some of y'all this is about a betrayal but spirit is saying first acknowledge the betrayal that you've actually put into your damn self because you know better and because you know better and you chose not to do better hell yeah it's exhausting holding this because you know what you need to do and you choose not to trust yourself but some of you all you needing to leave a situation that is karmic in order for you to and it was something about you actually being able to appreciate and act as well as acknowledge aspects of aspects within yourself that still needed work okay for some of you all what whoever was waiting on some type of information to come through or someone to bring them some type of information i do see it coming through but it's going to come through once you've had some type of shift in perspective in order for you to be able to integrate um some of you guys hold on in order for you to be able to integrate some of y'all just have to do with your family integrate some type of compromise as well as understanding to some situation but i feel like it's i'm hearing ancestral ties so for some of you all this could be a recognition of a cycle a particular cycle around uh family children um how you raise your children so for some of you all if there was if there's been some type of cycle of abandonment in a in your family dynamic okay there's a need for you to look at it from a different perspective instead of looking at it from a space of victimization look at it from the lesson in which you were supposed to learn from it because i definitely feel like some of you all are going through repetitive cycles here and spirit is saying instead of looking outside of yourself find that integration within yourself in order for you to exude and literally become that in which you're trying to manifest so if you're wanting wealth you can't walk around here with that damn lack-ass mindset you have to speak wealth, believe wealth, know wealth, feel wealth. 
experience will become one with that flow instead of chasing it okay for some of you all this is about you actually finding your inner strength going within yourself keeping it tempering your emotions you guys as well as ignoring all of that outside noise you see all them fucking faces of the people who all in this lady is she just happy she just in her in her own ebb and flow be comfortable so yeah some of y'all are going to have to be in this space of creating your own sacred space turning within yourself In order, in order to push forward and um, hold tight. Well, I'm sorry. In order to push forward and y'all, I just lost all my damn words. To focus up. I'm sorry. To focus and push forward and manifest your intentions, y'all. Y'all know what the hell I'm trying to say. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my words today. All right, so let's see what's going on with my lines, my lines in love. Spirit, what messages do you have? My beautiful Leos. La, 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 la. Y'all made me smile talking about y'all birthday song. Thank y'all so much. Y'all know I be freestyling stuff. I throw that damn instrument alone, baby. I ain't even put no instrument alone for y'all. I don't even think I did it. I think I was beating on the damn table, y'all. It's a whole band that lives in my head. I sing all day. I find a song out of every situation here. Keeps me from cussing. I'm working on it. Damn it now, Leo. Now. <laughs> Pray you guys enjoy your birthday. I know Virgo want to cut me because I completely forgot we was in Virgo season when I hit that video and I ain't telling happy birthday. You a Virgo cross watching happy birthday, boo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Play us fuck up too. All right, so three, what messages do you have for my beautiful Leo? Some of my business. So it's the cross watchers. Now to the end of August. In love. Okay, they jumping, baby. Yes, yeah, some of you guys again needed to leave a situation. Okay, some of you guys, and within that, within that, uh, when I was digging into the ocean zone tarot, some of you guys could definitely be dealing with um air and fire signs. Okay, for some of you all, you kind of needing to make a decision in order to reconnect with the fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you having a hard time with trusting the renewal of this love because there's still some clarity that needs to be had about a situation from the past that could involve children. Others of you, this has to do with reconnecting possibly with the water sign, okay? I definitely feel like somebody, yeah, somebody's having a hard time getting letting, out, letting go of the damn past. And I feel like somebody is using the past to their damn benefit. I feel like this person wants to love you, but there's this fear around vulnerability and opening up again because someone is expecting the worst out of the situation, okay? Others of you are, some of you guys are in your head about two water signs. Some of y'all need to choose between, um, um, Two people who could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you all are having a shift of emotions after finding out some type of some type of information from a tower moment, okay? For some of you all, you're kind of in your head about which way you're going to express love. Are you going to express love to this new person? Uh, for some of y'all, this person is semi-new, but maybe someone who you've been dating, okay? For some of you all, some of y'all are also finding, about, finding out about children for damn sure, okay? For some of y'all, this could come in the form of a tire moment. This could also be around your spouse, okay? Some of you guys could also be wanting to, hmm. Some of you all could be dealing with a Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Taurus who's on the fence about walking away from this whole situation, or this could be you. I definitely feel like for some of you all, you're definitely moving into this space of balancing out karmic cycles and being willing to release the ones that don't bring you balance or, for that matter, affect your growth in a negative way. I feel like for some of you all, there will be some type of tire moment that's going to be occurring. I feel like somebody who had a hard time opening up before, who could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, could also be a Scorpio, um, could also be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like someone is wanting to open up because they feel as if they're getting ready to lose a good thing. I'm hearing. For those of you who could have ended a cycle or, 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 or who, who are ending some type of karmic cycle, I definitely feel like some of y'all could be reconciling with an earth sign from your past, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who wants to mend the situation with you as well. They want, okay, for some of you guys, it's definitely a Taurus, all right? Some of you guys could also have a Taurus that needs to make a decision possibly between you and another earth sign or you and an air sign, okay? For some of you all, hmm, some of you guys could also be in some type of marriage or some type of long-term partnership, but some of y'all could be walking away from it because you feel as if you're giving more than the other person. And for some of you all, 
Yeah, and for some of y'all, I definitely see that somebody is giving more than another person when it comes to, and I'm hearing holding up, holding up, holding a partnership together. Some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and I feel like with this person, this person focuses more on work than they do the relationship, and some of you guys are feeling as if you're, some of y'all feeling as if you're not fully fulfilled in this situation. And it's kind of stressing you out because you feel guilty for feeling that way. I feel like, you know, <laughs> you feel like, you know, this person provides stability to you. But when it comes to the love aspect, I feel like some of y'all are getting bored in the situation. And for some of y'all, it's not really boredom. It's more so like, damn, you know, you have this understanding of you make time for the things that you truly want in this lifetime. And if you're not making time for me, but you make making time for money, then you already chosen what the hell you, what, it, what, what the hell matters to you more so. So you're making a decision for yourself because some of y'all who I just spoke about, you have an opportunity to reconcile with someone from your past who you are crazy about. I feel like this person could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and yet again, for some of y'all, it's that earth sign. Some of you guys, some of you guys, um, there could have been some type of tire moment around a situation involving a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like where a situation could have once been stagnant, there's someone who's wanting to resurrect the situation. They could have moved away from you. Yeah. For some of y'all, you didn't, yeah, some of y'all are walking away from the sign of Gemini. You don't trust them. You feel like this person has a hard time walking away from their past or their exes, okay? And some of y'all want to resurrect the situation with the Gemini. However, there's some type of truth in, yeah, in order to resurrect the situation, somebody got to tear some shit down. And fuck it up for another person, okay? I also feel that some of you guys, um, some of you guys could be also finding out that, especially if you had to walk away or there were some type of legal issues that separated you from someone. I'm hearing coming home, come on. Someone could, also, some of y'all could also be getting a phone call during this time. Someone who you are connected to could, uh, be getting out of jail or having some type of early release. If you were let go from a job in the month of uh, July or June, I do see you actually receiving an opportunity or you could have received it already within that second week of August. Maybe you're waiting on a start date. I see you're going to get that phone call. Some of y'all are going to be starting a job September the 1st. Congratulations, boo. Others of you, you need to do more research when it comes to grants as well as the resources available in your city. Instead of stressing about what you don't have to start that business. And some of y'all need to keep your mama out your damn business or your mother-in-law. Some of you guys have a mother-in-law during this time that you're going to have to check between now and the 31st of October. I mean, the October. Now, between the 31st or the 30th of August. Because this person wants to run their house, your house, and all the above. And you're going to have to get them together. Because whoever this is, this person is single as fuck trying to tell you how to run your relationship. Because she didn't ran her damn man out. They could be a mama or a friend. This is some female figure. External figure just yapping and fucking yapping. Somebody got some unhealthy ass. Yeah, some of y'all could be cutting off y'all toxic ass friends, especially if this person is a Sagittarius. For my Leo females who have a Sagittarius friend, some of y'all could be cutting this person off because this person, I feel like there's this, there's this aspect of like a competition in a friendship, and you're just not for it. You're the only one positive shit around you. And I feel like some of you guys, there's going to be some type of, some of y'all could even be going to a party or some type of gathering with this person and you feel as if this person is being shady or throwing your ass under the bus. This could also be another Leo or Aries too, you guys. But Sagittarius came out very strongly, okay? Let's do some clarifying <clears throat> to some of these majors that we got. Some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Scorpio. I feel like this person, there is a lot of love in this situation. But someone is a bit insecure about a situation because you could have recently reconciled with some type of family member. You or this person. This could be you or the Scorpio. For those of you who are dealing with, yeah, if you're dealing with an air sign, let me break it down like this elementally from what I see. If you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I definitely feel like there's a need for somebody to set boundaries, especially if there's some type of marriage or commitment in place with this person because I do feel that the relationship has lost the space of balance okay i also feel that there's a whole lot of stress about the situation because either you or this air sign i'm here and don't want to be the bad guy someone needs to cut this yeah y'all need to cut the situation off but someone doesn't want to be the bad guy so it's causing another person to be stressed the fuck out using work as a mask to cover their damn feelings up and i feel like spirit is saying you know what you need to do so you holding your you holding this damn weight yourself nobody is making you do this let this shit go because you have something beautiful trying to come in 
possibly with an Aries, a Scorpio, a Gemini, um, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces. But you, someone's having a hard time letting something go. If you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, there could be reconciliations around this situation, especially if there are children involved. I do see once where the situation was half-assed, this person could have been in and out your damn life, just kind of wanting to come in, how the hell they felt like it. This person could have also been, some of y'all could actually be pregnant by this person. I feel like there could have been some minor conflicts. I do see you guys actually bouncing back and getting things back together. Things are going to move to a solid place. I feel like someone was kind of, someone was doing some type of childhood, childhood, childhood trauma work. If you're dealing with a fire sign, you and this person is undergoing some type of transformative period in your lives. So this person could also be shedding doors and walking away from people as well as moving from this space of codependency. This person could have also had some very manipulative friends or family members who could have kept the relationship on hold in the past. But I do feel that, and some of y'all are not trusting actually reconciling with the situation because you're just like, Mocha, I ain't got time for that shit. But actually, I see that if you make time, this situation is going to transform into something really beautiful here. I'm also seeing that some of you guys are fighting. Yeah, there's a, there's a, you're dealing with a fire sign. You or another person is avoiding reconciling the situation out of this fear of the unknown but i definitely feel that the situation is going to transform into something beautiful and you guys are needing to let go of the damn control issues and just trust the process and trust in everything that it is that you don't know because i do see you being victorious here okay you having a positive outcome if you are dealing with an earth sign capricorn towards virgo First and foremost, this person, if this person is new, okay, this could be someone who you work with. This person could definitely be younger than you. I feel like this person, some of y'all are kind of on the fence about dealing with this person because you don't want to kind of shit when you lay. You don't want to mix money with, you know, business with pleasure. I definitely feel like for some of you all, there's a need for you to kind of get over your damn self because I do like this person's energy if it is a new person. If this person is an old person, okay, if someone that you already know that you reconcile with, I feel like in the past, finances could have been an issue. Issue where you may have had to carry the relationship or felt as if this person was like a financial liability to your ass later. Okay, but I do feel that this person is now wanting commitment. They do want to speak to you to end a cycle that was once a bit turbulent to walk into something more so beautiful. Y'all, I like y'all reading, okay? I do feel that also if you're dealing with an earth sign um, that is reconciling with you, this person ain't got their money up. They're boss now. They're coming with a solid offer, and they do want fulfillment. They want abundance. They want the same thing you do. Some of y'all think you're being set up. You're like, who sent you? It's a trick. It's not a trick, sis. Just, just go with the flow, okay? But some of y'all, if this person is a Capricorn, you cutting their ass off, though. You over the bullshit. I feel like this person is a bit controlling, and they kind of... Some of y'all, this person is using money or your children as a way to keep you feeling as if you're bonded in a situation and you buy done with the shits, okay? For some of y'all, you could also be finding out that if you're dealing with that air sign, that person could also be dealing with an earth sign at their job, period, okay? If you're dealing with um, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I definitely feel that, I definitely feel like this is a reconciliation if you're dealing with a water sign. Someone has had some type of recognition that someone is a soulmate, okay? And someone is kind of on the fence because they could be dealing with the water sign from their past and then they've met this new water sign. And I feel like the, the loyal, there's a sense of loyalty, okay? Loyalty being tested. But some of you all, you being a damn slave to your loyalty, standing in a situation that you feel is burdensome, okay? Let that shit go. Some of y'all are dealing with a, with a younger water sign that is very manipulative. This person is trying, and I feel like you can have children with this person. This person wants to manipulate you into a relationship. Um... But I feel like there's this sense of like winning. Like for some of y'all who are dealing with a water, two water signs, it's weird. But I feel like these people could actually know each other or know of each other. I'm feeling with this energy here, I'm also feeling confrontation. Like some of y'all could even have two water signs like beefing over y'all asses on social media I'm seeing here. Others of you could also be dealing with the water sign. You're kind of making a decision on if you want to deal with the situation or reconcile with this person because this person, I feel like they talk a good game, but this person still coming back with a drinking problem. Others of you, this person is coming back because they asked and got put out of a, got put out of they of the old situation, and this person is running away from their karmic lessons. They're undergoing a spiritual awakening. 
Some of you guys are dealing with a water sign, and there's a whole lot of love, but you got outside distractions trying to come in and shake your shit up, okay? Some of y'all be careful, because if you left a water sign in the past, you really need to protect yourself when it comes to negative energy around this person, because some of y'all left a water sign that like to play the magic games, okay? Mm-mm-mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, so let's clarify a little bit. Spirit, why is the death card here for my Leos? Why is the death card here? Some of you guys are tired of taking half ass love from a Scorpio. Yeah, don't lay the situation to rest because you're tired of fighting, okay? Some of you guys are completing the cycle there. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? Yes. Past life. Somebody want to work it out with somebody from their past. They want to go and restore it. Look, somebody didn't got the confidence that they needed to go and work out a situation and actually try to reconcile with someone, okay? The Wheel of Fortune. Yes. Some of you guys are ending or ending a cycle. Some of y'all are ending a cycle with ending a toxic cycle with someone and, and jumping right into love with possibly a fire sign. Some of you guys could also be cutting off an air sign. Or cutting off this fire sign and moving towards the air sign. Some of y'all, both of these damn people is toxic as hell. You got new love. That's, whoever that's for, you need to choose between that toxic ass air sign and that toxic ass fire sign. You actually got new love coming in from a water sign. Throwing both in the trash. Okay? Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Yeah, I feel like some of y'all got a water sign I'm trying to transform the situation with you. Yes! The tower is here because... For some of y'all, this is communication that's coming in from that damn fire sign or from whatever sign that wants to come in and open up their feelings. They want to be vulnerable. They want to express how they feel. They don't want to lose this. They don't want to throw it away. Yeah. Some of you guys got a damn Taurus in your life that needs to make a decision. Some of y'all just have to do with the commitment. Do I want to be commitment? Do I want to be committed or not? Some of y'all have a Taurus and choose between yourself and an air sign. Gemini not leave Aquarius. Why is... Hold on. Why the Queen of Cups here with the Six of Wands? I need to know. Because Leo going to be victorious in love. Damn it, I just spoke. Damn it, I'm good. Because Leo going to be victorious in love. That's why, bitch. Some of you guys also are going to be finding out that you're having a baby. Congratulations. Congratulations, my babies. Others of you just have to do a walking away from people from your past and accepting a new soulmate. Actually reaching, going on dates. Some of y'all are waiting on love, but people got to break in your damn house in order to get to your ass. In order to get something different, Leo, you got to do something different, okay? Some of you guys could also be wanting to reconcile with an air sign, but in order, I feel like when you go back to this person or this person comes back to you, be aware because this person could be dealing with the younger uh, earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo, which could put you in this space of internal conflict. I feel like somebody waited too long to come and make an offer. This person could be... Um, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like, Leo, you guys will have to choose between New Bay and Old Bay. For some of you all, this is a past life connection as well. Especially if this person is a Gemini, Scorpio, Aries, um, Pisces, Sag, Aquarius is here. Some of you all are going to be victorious. Yeah, somebody, y'all, y'all got this earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They want to come back and equally give and take with you all. But Leo, the choice is yours. You got to choose. But you got to choose to play nice. You, this is a compromise here. And this is internal conflict about compromising, okay? This is control for me. This is compromise. Choose the right seed, baby. Equally give and take. Because I do see reconciliations on the table. I see decisions needing to be made. But I see the overall outcome around the decisions that's being made, baby, is some beautiful shit. What you wish for, what you've been manifesting. And for some of y'all, an overflow of it. But you're going to have to be receptive. Okay? So, you all, I love you. This is what I have for you guys for from now to the end of August. I pray that it resonates with you all. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. Um, and I'm going to be going on vacation, y'all, in September. So, y'all going to see me kind of knocking them out, knocking them out, which is why I was taking me some risks in August because I'm going to work my ass off in September because I leave on the 23rd, I believe. So, you guys, hit me up if you need to read it. Till then, peace, love, light, namaste, y'all. Bye-bye, babies.